Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. This is Monday Motivational uh, Monday here. Uh, it's going to be a different type of Monday Motivational. I'm not going to be a lot of... I haven't made a lot of notes, and uh, I'm not going to get into a lot of motivational because I know me when I get to talking like a preacher with no script. Get to preaching and preaching, they ain't going nowhere with it. It's like, when are we going with this thing? So... What I want to talk about, my recent trip to Chicago this past week, I had an absolutely amazing time. I'm actually going back again in August where I can have a more enjoyable time because with the coldness and stuff like that, um, it's to me, you know, I'm a Texas boy. It was cold, but it wasn't like extremely cold, but it's not as comfortable. You can't really enjoy yourself because you, I got so no more about cold and traveling with the cold, y'all, cold weather and in the cold weather months. It's not as comfortable, number one, walking outside. Number two, the stuff you have to pack. When I travel, I don't like to pack a lot of stuff. I don't, I'm a man. We don't pack a lot, like ladies. I, but when you go travel in the winter, you got to have extra coats, jackets, long pants, gloves, different hats. You have to pack all that stuff. When I'm in the summertime, say if I'm going to Vegas in the summer, all I need is a few sets of shorts, t shirts. Maybe some nice pants to go to a restaurant one night and maybe a couple of nice shirts. That's it. Under, under garments, couple, under, that's it. It's very light. But in the winter, oh, my God, this is crazy. Coming back and just, it's just so excruciating. That's why I say this summer I'll go back in Chicago. But anyway, I want to give a shout out to a few people that was, uh, I did do a, you know, not an official meeting greet, but I did. Tell people, I got a video coming out tomorrow, y'all. I have uh, two and a half hours of footage. And my editor, <laughs> I, man, I put her to work. I had like three hours of uh, footage. And I told her condenses as, as much as she can in one video. She did about an hour and maybe an hour and two or three minutes. So it's like a movie coming out tomorrow. My Chicago trip, everything. How I, lo how I lost my wallet. Can y'all believe I lost my wallet in Chicago? You ain't want to miss this, what happened on that. It's crazy. And the it's so much happened, and I condensed it in, in uh, one video. So I'm not going to tell y'all. let y'all watch the video. But anyway, I just want to give some shout-outs to, number one, the cards and letters I've got. When I got back from my trip, I went to my <clears throat> mailbox. Excuse me, y'all. still got my sinuses. Plus, I think I caught a little cold in Chicago. And what is my body's working? towards each other to <laughs> knock these sinuses out and then make this cold don't hit me away. So I was probably in bed one day, but I say, pray God, I can make it to church today. So I made it to church and I'm feeling absolutely amazing now. So yeah, I got some cards, birthday cards and stuff. I want to give, like I said, I like to acknowledge people that send me stuff. And I'm going to go and do this before it gets, the stack gets too big like it did a few months ago. I got this from the mail from a AJW. Y'all know AJW, she be on the live stream and the uh, old school soul food live chats. She sent me this from Amazon. It's promises from God from every for, for every man, 101 scriptures filled with, I guess it's cards. I haven't opened it. I'm pretty sure it's 101 scriptures cards. So she sent me that. And I got some other stuff here. I'm going to go through pretty quick here, y'all. I ain't going to hold y'all long today. Let's see, what is this here? This is a gift card. Oh, this is a gift card. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember this. This is from, who is this from, y'all? AJW2. Look at this. Y'all know that. Y'all know me too well. Be, be, be beyond. Y'all know me too well. So she sent this also. I appreciate that. Bad, bad, beyond. I'm going to need to get them for it. But you know, they closing all the bad, bad, beyond. A lot of them. But the one they ain't even touching is the one right down the one I go to. They ain't even looking at that because Jeff, Jeff will keep that one in business. So they say, well, we can't close that one now. No, you better not. I keep that one in business. Okay. Uh, here's the, um, uh, what is it? she sent a monetary donation here. Miss Carla Robinson um, from Indianapolis, Indiana. She put a, a nice card here. I appreciate that. See that? Let you know I did get your card and your monetary donation. That's going to help a lot. Like I say, everything y'all send me goes into a foundation. I like this here. Birthday card from Angela out of Dumas. Dumas, Texas. Where's Dumas, Texas at? 
That's a nice. She say, uh, here's a list of things that's still older than you. <laughs> she put dirt and then she put her in there. LOL. I like that. Love that sense of humor. Um, but I appreciate that. Uh, Miss Angela out of Dumas, Texas. Here's another one here. Miss Virginia, Chi-Town. I call it Chi-Town. She in Champaign, uh, uh, Chicago. She sent a monetary donation too and a nice birthday call. I appreciate that. Miss Virginia, I've been in mean, Virginia. I can know. I see her name, and I know because she's from Chicago, but she's not from Chicago, but she's from Illinois. Always appreciate her. She's been an old school social family member for a long time. This is for Miss Shannon out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, home of the Pittsburgh Cedar. She wrote a very nice note here. I'm not going to go into it, but uh, it, uh, let's see here. Um, she wrote a nice note here that a lot of people write that that, that, that watches me on a daily basis and uh, weekly, monthly, and yearly basis, and I really appreciate that. You never know the hearts you're touching and uh, uh, the men and women and uh, that you watch you. Okay, here's another one here. Nice, but I like this birthday card. I like it's homemade from uh, Miss Rosalind. Out of L.A., California, west side, west side of the state, of the country. Say, thank you for all you do. May this be your best birthday ever. I, this is a homemade card, y'all. I like this. I like this. And she said, I got on here, Roz. I guess that's what they call her. Her nickname is Roz. Roz, I guess Roz is short for Rosalind. Hello. I like this. Thank you. I appreciate the birthday card. Like I say, when I got back to Chicago the, the next day, I, um, when to check my mail, it was just stuff with birthday cards. You know, I wasn't here for my birthday. There's another birthday card from, let's see here, from Cynthia out of St. George, South Carolina. St. George, South Carolina. Nice birthday card here. I really appreciate that. Look up to the camera, Jeffrey. Show it to the camera, Chef Jeffrey. My, my team, they're always looking at my videos, telling me what I should do. Here's another birthday card here from, uh, who this from? Oh, Miss Rain, Mel, Miss Rainey always send. She's always sent two. I guess she do that to make sure one don't come. You got another one come. She always send two. Uh, I I don't know why she does that. He or she, but uh, I noticed that. I don't see the other one here. It's Jay Darby. Um, what is this here? <laughs> this is this is y'all. I'm telling y'all. Y'all know me so 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 well. It's Jay Darby out of Candom, New Jersey. Birthday card here. And look at here. Look at this here. That's like $60 worth of uh, dairy cream. How many ice creams can I get out uh, of $60? I might get about at least 40 cups of ice cream out of $60. Look at that. $60 worth of gift cards, y'all. 15, 15, 15. Yeah, that's 60 bucks. I really appreciate that. You know, that's a lifetime. That's a lot of road trips, y'all. That's a lot of road trips. So when I do my chicken fried steak road trips this summer, and this, I'm, I'm hey my my uh, Berry Queen I already paid for. I really appreciate that. Uh, that really, really that that's that shows how well y'all watch my channel. Here's another birthday card here from uh, Miss Anita out of Flushing, New New York, Flushing, New York. I appreciate that. Always appreciative. Okay, Miss Darcy out of. Uh, she sent a money. All she did was send a monetary donation right here in this thing here, Miss Dorsey out of Jackson, Mississippi. I appreciate you. I appreciate you very much. Here, here's one here. It's a little birthday, little birthday card here from uh, Miss B. Oh, Miss B. I know Miss B on uh, on. Uh, she didn't do a uh, return thing. Miss B on the uh, channel. Y'all know her. Y'all seen her in the comments. Uh, I appreciate that. A little birthday card there. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Didn't get lost in the mail. Look at that. Show you how good the mail system is. A little card made it into me. Miss Elizabeth out of Chattanooga Falls, Ohio. Another birthday card here. Uh, that's nice. I like the uh, I like the hills and valleys of this. I appreciate you, Miss uh, Chattanooga. Miss Chattanooga, Miss uh, Elizabeth Chattanooga, Ohio. Appreciate that. 
this one here. This is uh this is from San Antonio, Texas. I know this lady she sent me a she sent a picture of herself too, huh? I'm not gonna show her picture. Now that respect. Somebody sent me a picture of themselves. Maybe I don't have it here. Maybe I took it out where well, I don't want to be showing people pictures. I'll have that much respect. But Miss Dana Bar out of uh San Antonio, Texas. She sent me a nice uh birthday card here. I really appreciate that. And uh I got one more here. A gentleman, he got a cookbook that he wrote. Not a cookbook, it's a little cookbook he wrote. And he's just showing me that I, oh yes, I got her picture right here. I'm not going to put her picture on, on Facebook, but I did receive your picture. It's right here. Uh, Miss, uh, what's her name? I got your picture right here in here. I know you sent a picture. Miss Dana out of San Antonio, Texas. I really appreciate that. I got some beautiful old school soul food family members, I'm telling you. And he sent a book, his old school soul food foods and stories and friends by Bobby Richardson. And he sent me a, a cookbook. That, uh, by, it's like a, not even an old cookbook. It just has recipe, not even recipes, but it's his family story, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I like that. So he sent that out to me and the little card there to me to read. I appreciate that. Is that everything? Yeah. Now, uh, let me get to Chicago. Some people that showed up to my meet and greet. I wrote the name down. One lady, I didn't write her name down because I didn't remember it, and she don't have anything written down on it that I remember. But Miss Dee Dee, she was there. Miss Dee Dee, I got all this stuff mixed up, but Miss Dee Dee sent me some. Now, if I get it wrong, they're going to beat me up. There's popcorn here and there. I know I got my, I got my Gary's popcorn here. I ain't even, I haven't even opened it, y'all. I've been that, I, I've been that. Without well, an appetite that much, but I'm getting my appetite back, so that Gary's ain't gonna be. But she say this is better than Gary's right here. This mix, I'm gonna do a little taste test. Might do it on camera. But I got all this stuff back on the plane. I was very, very, um, uh, uh, very, very uh, organized how I do it with the help of my publishers. Uh, but she sent me, she gave me this, and she also give me these, uh, these bread pudding crunch things here. She gave me two of these, and this is Miss Dee Dee, and I think that's all she gave me. I don't know if, uh, yeah, that's all she gave me on that. Oh, she gave me this. It's uh, apron, and uh, this little, I asked what it is. She said, I don't know what it is. I don't either. What is this? Is this a towel? I don't know, but she gave me this too. So I appreciate that, Miss Dee Dee. And Miss Bonnie Taylor, she wrote a book here. She like all on the Amazon and been on TV and everything. She she gave me a book and she reached out to me. And she said, yep, I need to meet up with you. And she reached she reached out to me a couple of weeks ago. So we corresponded back and I told her I was gonna be in the uh, high regency between uh, uh what was it, six and seven PM and she finally showed up and she sent me this, uh she gave me this this book right here. And she's really, really, her and her husband came. It was her and her husband. I, I got the pictures. Y'all seen the pictures of them. Y'all just don't know who is who. Next person, Miss Tanya Howe and her daughter, uh, Serena. They came and gave me a nice car and they gave me a Taco Bell. They didn't know me too much. They know I love my Taco Bell. I'm just the nicest person. She also got a, something that she want me to help her with. I'm not going to bring that and put that on camera, but. If you're watching Miss Tonya, she'd be in the chats too. Uh, I'm definitely going to get back with you and give you some advice on that. A lot of people, yeah, just like for advice and just want to talk and it's really, really surreal. Now, the lady that I didn't get her name, but she worked, she's building, a, she, she's in charge of building Barack Obama's uh, uh, library. And she gave me one of the shirts right here. See this? I guess that's the back and it's the front of it right here. She worked for, uh, yeah, building of the Obama Presidential Center. And she's a, she's high up in that, in charge of getting that done. So she was so she says she likes to cook. Her husband likes to cook, but he don't have no recipes. So she likes to go through my uh, my uh, video. Okay, y'all, I got one more here. Like I say, last but not least, and I'm gonna get to something else here. Y'all know I get all kinds of letters and stuff from people, and it's this lady. I've been knowing his his mom for. A year or so, and she calls mine back and forth. She got a couple of kids, but she got one little boy. His name is Aiden. Aiden's now 10 years old, been watching me for a while, and watch me every day 
on YouTube while I'm cooking on a road trip. But he loved the favorite videos of his road trips, my road trip. And the best part of my road trips is when I stop at the inn and eat, uh, get me a vanilla ice cream. Y'all watch my road trips. I always stop at the inn after I do everything. On the way home, I'll stop and give me some ice cream in some small town. Because every town in Texas, no matter how big or small, has a, 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 has a Dairy Queen in it. So she sent, she, uh, last month during Black History Month, she said her son did a, a Black History thing for his class. And they asked him to uh, write down who his uh, inspiration, Black inspiration was. And he picked me. And I told her, I think just touched my heart when she told me that. And I asked her if she could, because she mailed me the, I just really, I just told her to take a picture of it and, and email it to me or whatever screens. But she mailed me the original thing here. And I tell you, of all the things I really got in my life, this ranks up with the one of the highest. Not because it's, it, it, it just, it makes me surreal. And my relatives and especially my brother and stuff, they tell me, and my mom used to tell me this too before she passed away, always do good. No matter who, you never know who watching you. Always be you. Be you, don't be fake. Because if you be fake, you're going to always have to be fake, fake, fake. And one day you're going to stop being fake and they're going to show you real you. And then people are not going to trust you and find out who you are. Like I tell people, you can tell people that been at the meeting grace and people that saw me in Chicago, what I'm talking to you now is how I talk to you in person. What I'm talking to you alone around with the group, this is how I am. I love people. I love all kinds of people. I don't care what you look like, where you're demographic, where you come. I love you for who, and that's where I am. So this hits home because you have not only young and old. I have kids watching me now. I mean, all kinds of races of people from all kinds of countries and stuff like that. But this really hit home. This is Aiden right here. This is a little boy right here. She she, she showed me pictures of him before, and she have another little uh, boy with my. He's a little young. He's a little infant type. Not infant, but he's not walking. He, he not walking yet. I don't know these terms or stuff with babies, but when my music come on, he's light up. You know my little opening theme music. His little brother lights up. But Aiden, he's just the just the cutest, sweetest, adorable little boy. And I she put him on the phone with me sometime, and he'll speak to me. You know he's kind of shy, or whatever. But he he loves him some Chef Jeffrey, and she sent his to me. Got on there the first page, say Aiden, of course. I hope I put this in order. Then it says, Chef Jeffrey from Old School Soul Food is my black history inspiration. And then he got here. Then he got Chef Jeffrey here. And I'm telling y'all, this is the most, I mean, one of the most, I mean, stuff like this, it, it, it like some people say, when I get the bad comments and I get the haters on there and stuff like this, which I'm going to put this, I'm going to have this professionally done. I'm going to put this in a frame and it's going to hang in my office somewhere because when I have bad days and things going bad and I just, you know, everybody, I don't say I have bad days, but I have a lot of days that's not as good as others. I can look at something like this and then make everything I do completely worth it. You have haters out there, people don't, they're just talking about you and don't, especially on social media, people come from all ways of life and, and catch you. This here, and make everything worth it. I got a lot of people out there that say the same things. One lady wrote me, I think in one of these letters, that she doesn't get out. She doesn't go anywhere. She don't have any family, a lot of family and stuff like that. And she gets, she says, she. that's why I do a live every Monday. She say, well, our lives on Mondays, when I do my Monday night live from 5 to 6 p.m. on Monday, that's like a family. And if you ever in my money live, if you're not, you're missing out. If you ever in the money live, people not only talking to me, they're integrating with each other. A lot of people go every Monday on there and it's like they know each other on there because they scream name and they interact with each other because it's like a family. And that's why I wanted to be. Let me pick it back to what I was saying. Let me backtrack with my uh, meeting greet this past week in Chicago. I didn't even do a lot of footage on the meet and greet because I put the camera down and I was enjoying the ambiance of everybody talking and laughing with each other. It's like they've been knowing each other for years. And that's every time I do a meet and greet and have people come together, it's amazing how that connection is with the old school soul food family. When I say family, that is not an understatement with the old school soul food family. 
every time people get together, they just holding conversation and the time just go by. Like I was supposed to be there from six or seven. I think it was almost eight o'clock when I left there because time just goes away because everybody having so much fun interacting, talking, asking me questions. They asking each other questions. Who are you? Where are you? It's amazing. And that's what touches this lady that wrote me. She said, it's like a family to him. That's why I'll never quit my live. That's why I always do at least one live every week. Sometimes I do more depending on where I am because that's not only important to me, it's important to other people that doesn't have anybody. It's people at homebound with no, can't get out and see the world. They're either disabled or they sickly or they don't have the transportation. And this is their way to congregating and conversating with other people they like-minded people on the joking level. We joke about everything on that. We laugh about everything, and, and it's amazing. I really love it. Sometimes I just sit back and don't say nothing, and people chatting back and forth. And it's, we very seldom have any drama on our lives. And that's very rare on lives, people coming in. That talk, because, number one, I got some mods that don't play on there. And number two, they say that they're going to get kicked out of the room so quickly. We don't accept that. It, on any of my channels, really, you notice that. So I really, really appreciate that. So I just want to share this with y'all. Like I said, it's not, it's a different motivational money this Monday, but I want to show this with, share this with y'all. I made myself some notes here so I wouldn't miss out. Today is March 20th. Monday, March 20th, when you get this video, it is free ice cream. I don't know where you live, but I know in Texas it is. Today, go get you some free ice cream for Dairy Queen. You get a free ice cream cone at all participating Dairy Queen. I know here in Texas, but it's probably in the United States. Today, Monday, March 20th. So please, when you watch, hope you watch this video early in the morning where you can got time to do like Chef Jeff and hit six or seven ice creams. Say I'm not going to go to about six Dairy Queens today. I'm on a Dairy Queen tour. By the time you watch this video, I'll probably be up already when the Dairy Queen's open. I know four of them here in the vicinity of Katy. So I'm going to hit them four. I'm going to just go from one to one to one. Don't hate. Don't 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 be hating on me and don't be trying to say nothing bad. Hey, I only get to do this once a year. I'm saving my gift cards for when I really need them. But, yeah, anyway, if y'all like Dairy Queen ice cream, take your kids or whatever, and you get one per person free ice cream cone. I wrote that down to make sure. And my buddy Aiden, I told his mom already. <laughs> He's probably already excited when he get out of school. Now, I know they're going to go to Dairy Queen, so she already checked up there. They live up in Michigan up there, and uh, it's probably cold, but it's never too cold for ice cream. But get my buddy, but the of you watching it, tell your mom she better take you to Dairy Queen to get your ice cream cone today. So uh, live tonight, I already told y'all, from, from 5 to 6 p.m. Uh, Central Time. And uh, like I said, I'm on for an hour. I don't know if I'm going to be at the lake. I don't know what the weather is. It's been kind of cool here the last few days. If not, I'll just be upstairs in my office. Also, I got a major meet and greet here. And I'm gonna, I have to get the facility book. It's going to be in October. I know that. I got to get the facility book here in the next few weeks. It's going to be huge. It's going to be here right here in Katy. I did one two years ago. There wasn't a lot of participation. I think it would be more participation if I put the date out early. This, but I'm telling you, you do not have to pay to come to this meet and greet. It's going to be a tipping meet and greet than when you get when I have to go on the road. I'm in my hometown. I'm 10 minutes from my house, this facility. I'm going to have all these jams and jellies you see here. I'm giving them all away. I'm giving away all this stuff that you see that I do. Old school soap with Dylan Wheat, these ice makers, air fryers, all this stuff. I'm giving it away at my meet and greet. I'm going to have a buffet with all six different kinds of proteins and three or four different kinds of birds. it's a big deal people need to come out when i put this date out if you gotta fly in or whatever that's why i'm putting the date out early i'm gonna put it in late june early july give you time to book your tickets book your hotels if you gotta i want y'all to show up and show out i'm gonna rent a facility to hold about 150 200 people i'm letting you know now it's gonna be a meeting it's gonna be in october I don't know if it's going to be before or after my cruise in October. I'll probably do it after it. But I have the cruise already out of my way, and then I can get this done. I don't know. I'll let you know, but it's going to be in October. I want y'all to come out. Yeah, everybody wants to say, I want to see your jams and jam. I want to buy this. You ain't got to buy nothing. I'm going to have a little trivia games or whatever. I'm going to set it up how we're going to do it. And uh, I'm going to uh, give it away there. My whole team going to be there. You know, Dylan, Tyrone, everybody going to be there doing the camera and everything. I'm going to have my friends and all the people that really work for me serving the food. Y'all going to be served with a buffet. Everything going to be for y'all. Appreciate it for y'all for being a part of my team. 
it's going to my love to y'all. Y'all I'm not, y'all always giving my st- giving me things. It's my way of giving back. Because when I go on the road and stuff like that, it's only so much stuff I can pack on the planes and pack in my vehicle. But this, I live 10 minutes away. I can do two or three trips and take all this stuff over to the facility because it's right down the road. So I just want to put that out. And I'm going to be, as it get closer to the date, by June, I know. By early June or late July, I know the exact date in October where it's going to be. So you can book the hotel or uh, uh, book your trip. If you're in the area, you can drive in or have you want to do it. I want y'all to come. It's very, very important to me because not only it's important that I see y'all, it's important that y'all get all this stuff out of me. That's why I'm getting all people say, oh, you're hoarding on. I'm giving this stuff away. I'm planning. I got a plan for all these jams and jams and all that. I got a plan for it. I'm giving it to my old school soul family member. That's why I make so much. And I don't let a lot of my relatives and stuff take it because I know what I'm going to do with this stuff. Yeah. So anyway, I just had to put that out there. So people don't watch my stuff on Mondays. They gonna miss out. That's why I say money. My mo- videos on money is the most important videos y'all should ever watch or anything. Cause I have time to sit down and tell you things that I won't tell. And I don't write things. When I write stuff on the stuff, people say, "Why you didn't tell?" People don't read. If I put a picture or a video, they'll do it. But people ain't gonna read. Most majority of people, the analytics shows this. They're not gonna engage on something if I write stuff down. If it's on Facebook, my community page, uh, Instagram. They do not interact. There's a there's a mechanism when people interact, you click on stuff, it tells you if you interact. People do, do interact less on posts. This everybody, when people write stuff. If you put a video or pictures of stuff, people interact. I don't know what the mentality with that. People just don't like to read stuff or what. I don't know. I read more than I would interact on the video because I think reading is more important. Like he's got really got something to say if he's writing it down and putting it in the video. But most people don't think like that. But anyway, like I say, a lot of people gonna miss out on meeting and stuff like that because they don't watch on Mondays. But let me go here. <laughs> I don't. I don't smoke enough today. So anyway, I really, 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 really appreciate everybody. Like I say, I'm looking at all this stuff. I look at this stuff with Aiden and just I, I don't know what y'all. I, I don't know. It's just hard. It leaves me speechless sometimes. I get on the plane and I'm thinking like, what? I, I don't know what is it in cooking that brings people together. What am I doing? I mean, I'm not selling myself to. I'm trying to do God's work through him. Where, where I can say you will know my people by the fruit they bear. That's the only thing I'm trying to do. But sometimes it's to the point where I know I'm doing God's work. But I don't know. It's hard to explain. But I'm just so humble about it, y'all. I just I, sometimes I just... I don't know. Let me Let me close this video. Uh, if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, TikTok, and uh, OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023, 2023. Just show some kindness, Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Go get y'all some ice cream, and I'll see y'all tonight. Love y'all. Bye.